I haven't given up. I don't think I ever gave up on the belief in my ability that I could play at a very high level and, and compete with the best in the world. What a performance by Henrik Stenson. Wins the Tour Championship and the FedEx Cup title. As long as you can stick with that, even if you have a bad spell, you're always going to be able to come back. And I've done it twice. Hopefully I don't have to do it a third time. Henrik Stenson's impressive close to the 2013 FedEx Cup playoffs is just the latest chapter in an incredible comeback story. A tale that could not be written without the assistance of his core team. I've always had a very supportive team. They've been part of my success and been with me all along. Each one of the individuals that I work with have their own specific area that they work with me on and, and we've just been trying to keep that going. The backbone of the squad is Pete Cowan, who began rebuilding the Swedes game in 2001. I teach the individual, don't teach the method. I would try and find the strengths and how we're going to give them more control of their strengths. And I say it took us two and a half, three years to get that right. So we'd been through a lot of heartache there, really. And a lot of people didn't believe in him, but he believed in himself and I believed in him. He came on board at a time where I was really lost with my golf game and we had to work hard for a long period of time to get it back on track. And I really believe that's been a big part of my success as well. Stenson first reached elite status in 2009 after capturing the PGA Tour's premier event. Henrik Stenson, the first Swede to win the Players' Championship. It was the height of his career, but then Stenson inexplicably dropped from fourth to 230th in the world. After a big win, you always become more busy off the golf course. It's more requests, more people want to talk to you. That tends to take away a little bit of focus from your game. I definitely bumped into some obstacles and started disappearing a little bit again. A myriad of injuries, including knee surgery, plagued Stenson as well. So he added physical trainer Cornell Dreesen to the team in 2011 to help him return to form. Push through, push through here, and don't load the arm too much. Take most of the weight and keep the soft knee, bend the knee slightly, that's it. We went through the rehabilitation and took the season from there. Henrik had a fall in his career and he needed to do something new and different. And I started focusing on the strength and conditioning quite a lot, more than just the therapy, and that's how we started off. We've worked for just over two and a half years now and we've made some great improvements. It's hard to put, is that going to make me one more burden or hit it five yards further? But it's more, do you believe in the whole concept of addressing every part of your game? So we force the diaphragm to work, we switch off the push muscles, switch on the pull muscles in between each rep, and it engages the core, the whole system much more. The amazing thing about him is he's still hungry. When we started off, he was really hungry, and every improvement he made, he was never satisfied, and that's great. Keep the mid-back straight, rotate the shoulders as much as you can, keep the hips quiet, engage the core. Very good. As soon as he achieves something, He's got a new goal. We work on new goals. We talk about it. We set it forth and he keeps on going. So the long-term approach is still there. <laughs> Looking back at the last 10, 15 years of my golfing career, I've had two big slumps and I managed to get out of them. And what a birdie by Stenson at the last. And Henrik Stenson continues his climb back up. It's all about putting yourself in position and that's what I did on the back end of 13. I put myself in position so many times, and that's why I walked away with some nice silverware. How about that exclamation point? Wow! And Stenson is indeed back. Years of determination finally paid off for Stenson in 2013 with his first multiple win season on tour. And that strong play has continued into 2014. To win the FedEx Cup was great and is one of my absolute highlights of my career, if not the highlight. Henrik's had two big turnarounds in his career. Here's a guy you weren't really thinking about at the beginning of the year and all of a sudden he gets hot right the end of the middle to the end of the year and, and wins the whole thing. His FedEx Cup triumph returns Stenson to the game's elite level, affirming the impact his core team has played. If you come back from some tough times, then you're always going to be better than, than you were before. And I don't think I've ever been better 
in any aspect of my game than, than I am now. I'm very proud of my achievements and I've had great help from, from my team around me as well to, to do that journey. That work ethic hasn't changed. Success hasn't made him sit back and rest on his laurels. Once he's achieved things and he allows him to be happy about it and, and satisfied, but it never went to his head. He's just the same, always the same. He's loyal. It's nice that there's a bit of loyalty in this game. They're all good people and they're all good at what they do, so this program is a lot about team building. If you surround yourself with, with good people, uh, you, you give yourself the best chance of good things happening to you as well, so I think that's really important.